Hello everyone. This is Shanner, Sharon Shannon and today I would like to show you how I put a really pretty script on my ornaments. This is the ornament of Ring the Bells that I had done and um, sometimes um, for me, anyway, it's very difficult to put pretty writing onto the ornament freehand. So I've come up with this idea. So let's get started. First thing I do is take my ornament and I base coat front and back and the sides twice and uh, sand it lightly and make sure it's really smooth and no debris on it before I get started. That way when you're done with the ornament uh, you don't have to worry about getting anything on it and your sides are already done. Now I've used bleach sand on this but uh, you know you could use the color of your choice. Now the first thing that I do um, is I type up on my computer uh, the saying that I want on the ornament. And I try to get it um, sort of centralized so I make sure that I have a lot of room around it to work with. And then I take and put it on the printer and I print it out on parchment paper. Uh, this is just plain parchment paper, um, but it works beautiful to paint on. And one thing you will have to do is take Krylon 1311 and spray it a couple times lightly, your paper. This prevents the ink from bleeding because I have an inkjet printer, printer and uh, it would bleed if I didn't spray it. So the next thing I do is take my pattern and I align my pattern after I have traced it on tracing paper over the printing on the parchment paper and where I want it and then I tape that down with just a little bit of magic tape. Okay, the two corners, I got it lined up. And then I take my ornament and I place it on the paper on the ornament. You sort of have to go by feel here. Feel the edge of that, and the edge of that, and the edge of that. Okay. Then I take my finger and I go over the edge. This will put an indentation on your paper. take my pattern off. So I don't know if you can see it or not, but I see an indentation all the way around the ornament. And then I like to take a pencil on the back side 
of the paper. And I like to go out about oh a quarter of an inch from that indentation. This way it gives me a little leeway when I cut it. you could see that or not. So then I'll, I'll cut out So now I have it cut out. Put it back on there and the indentations should you can see I'm going over it one more time. Okay. The next step is to take decoart decoupage and I'm going to put it on the top of the wood. Now I only put it here when I get ready to paint. I will not go over this with decoupage. I want to make sure that I have a good even coat. But I don't want any um, ridges. Okay. Now I will place this on here. And I like to use a piece of wax paper. So I don't have any oils from my fingers. And I'm going to start from the center. Then I'm going to take my brayer and go over that. Make sure that it's really on there good. Okay, 
now I'm going to have to let this dry. And you need to uh, let it dry at least probably three hours, something like that. Normally I would take this and turn it upside down and put a book on top of it and leave it overnight. Okay. Okay, the next step for you to do would be turn your ornament over and with an X-Acto knife go all around the outside of it and take off any of the little excess. And then the next step that I do is I take an emery board and I go over the edges and this just fine tunes it and makes it real smooth all the way around and you don't have any little frays. Okay, so your ornament is ready. I, uh, I'm sorry, you do take like an exacto, uh, not an exacto, a stylus and go through and punch the, the little hole out. So then you're ready to put your pattern on and uh, trace it with great graphite paper lightly and go ahead and paint your ornament. So this is the finished one. I do hope you enjoyed this video and that you would try this technique yourself. Happy painting!